What is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here what is going on my name is Nikki and you should consider subscribing by hitting the NB in the bottom corner or the red subscribe button and join the crew with that being said today is a beautiful joyful glorious blessed kind of day but you already know the drill with that you guys today I know I know that I had said I don't always you know do DoorDash videos and I really don't but two things my girl came to town which I will link up here if you're into that kind of thing but also we went on a little shopping spree and so in my mind I'm like I want to try to get some of that money back and to be flat out honest with you all it seems that these DoorDash videos are the videos that are still gaining a decent amount of traction on my channel so I figured you know what why not do what works baby but as always you guys if you do enjoy this video if you do enjoy hanging out with me please go check out some of my other stuff and um i would love to have you be a part of the crew long term so today i'm just trying to make a little bit of that spending money back i do i will disclaim i do have a full-time job actually i just got a promotion so i am making a little bit more money than i was before so like i said in prior doordash videos i do not do this full time matter of fact don't really do it at all anymore but when certain occasions come up and I kind of feel like I want to make a couple extra bucks, I might go out and do it. So you guys, this isn't really like a tip or trick or anything like that about DoorDash. It's literally just like a DoorDash car vlog. I just want y'all to come hang out, see what's good, spend some time. And you know what, you guys, without further ado, let's just get into this video. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and log on to the app right now. It's been a minute, so I hope it loads. Oh, okay. I remember the red. Okay, it's coming back to me. It's been a while. I can't lie. I did schedule myself a couple days ago because I knew I wanted to do this. I'm doing that lunchtime hour, 1 to 2.30. Honestly, don't know if it's going to be good. Don't know if it's going to be bad. There's no peak pay today, I don't think. Does it say peak pay on there? I'm missing it. I don't think so. It's There's no peak pay. So what I am going to do is cherry pick the heck out of these orders because if I'm only doing it for an hour, hour and a half, I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck. And I really don't care about the rejected orders or that ratio because I don't think it matters. But to be honest with you, it might now. Things have changed. I don't really know if they have let me know because I could just be kicking myself in the ass for doing this. But I don't know any different. I didn't read up on any new laws. I'm just trying to make a couple bucks. So you guys, I am going to try to log on here. Dang it. This always happens. So I live like right outside the border of the little red thing right there i'm literally right outside the border if i drive my car literally like a hundred feet forward it will let me dash now but for some reason this spot it just never really works so you guys i have no choice but to just start driving into town before i actually log into dash because my phone is tripping so i don't know how much i can make in an hour hour and a half maybe like anywhere between three to six deliveries maybe i don't know we'll see if i can cherry pick and they come in consistently that might be possible but this could be some stupid ass i might waste an hour and a half ten dollars but we're gonna find out all right let's just start driving i got my ice water here if you don't you know i'm a steelers fan don't talk to me about this season though right now it's embarrassing a little bit we gotta get it popping for ten dollars <laughs> Because that's probably what it's going to end up being. I like to listen to music when I dash. It's kind of a big thing for me. Literally hate this song. I suppose in the vitamin aisle. You know, you got to kind of get yourself in the mindset for this. Like, okay, I could walk out of here with $25, $30. I could walk out of here with $5. I could walk out of here with $0. It's really up in the air. That's one thing that I've mentioned before about DoorDash that I am not a huge fan of. It's so inconsistent. I don't know. I don't know how you can make a living just doing this. I really don't. If you do, though, let me know because I'm interested. Maybe it's just my area. I'm not sure. I am in Southern California, so maybe it's different. I don't know. It's about that time, though, so let's hit the road, y'all. I haven't done this in a while. I get a little excited. I get a little nervous. No, I don't really get nervous. But let's go. Let's see what happens. I also kind of, like, don't like the fact that you have to be on your phone so much when you drive doing this. Like, I don't know about other parts of the country, but here in California, that is illegal. So, like, I might get a ticket that's ten times the amount of whatever money I was ever going to make on DoorDash for that night. You know what I mean? So, that's kind of annoying. So, if you see me chuck my phone, it's because I see a cop. I'm not trying to get ran up, go to jail, none of that. Start dashing. Oh, let's see what happens. I've not really done much since they upgraded this, so... We'll see what happens. Chick-fil-A is a hot spot, but it's in a different city. Oh, Lord Jesus. Well, I'm cherry picking. I've already told you, I'm cherry picking. We're not messing around. Cut me off, yeah, sure, go ahead. I hate that. You guys, if you watch my other videos, if you watch a video of me driving at all ever, you know that I have insane road rage. There's really nothing I could do about it. Sometimes I feel bad about it. Sometimes I honestly don't. 
I cannot stand bad drivers. You know this if you know me. If you don't know me, now you do know, so don't come at me yelling at me because I yelled at somebody else. I just don't have time for it. Like, this person wanted to ride my ass, switch lanes, and come over and cut me off just to get to the red light one car ahead of me. Like, you're stupid for that. If you do that, you're stupid for that. It's been like two minutes, not in order yet. If you've seen my ever first DoorDash video, I'm gonna put it up here. But I literally, I'm not gonna tell you actually, go watch it. But it was insane. You guys, you know, you know when you like eat gum and then you go to like eat, eat, you don't eat water, you moron. When you go to drink water, it's so dang cold. Why is that? Is that chemistry? Is that physics? Excuse me, I'm coming over! Still no orders. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, this is trash. If I hop on here, it's Saturday too, like, it's the weekend. Like, you know, people be waking up hungover all late. Like, I felt like one o'clock would be a good time because people get out of bed at like one o'clock on the weekend. Well, I don't. I get out of bed at like 7 a.m. on the weekend, but I mean, no, but no hate if, if, if you hungover shit on a Saturday. I've done it. It happens. I don't drink anymore, really, but. I get it. After the week I had at work, let me tell you, I probably should have a few times. <laughs> but while I wait for an order, let me tell you about work. So I get a call on Tuesday of this week. Like, oh yeah, the guy at this club left. He gave us two notice, but do you want the club or do you want to stay where you're at? I'm like, well, he's like, they're like, it's higher pay. You're fully staffed. It's a, you know, it's the second largest club in California. Obviously I'm like, duh, I want it. I have been like, but then when I took that job, I had about three, of my employees at the new place give me their notice. I had one who had her last day that day. And then I had one from the current club I was at. I had to fire on the spot because she was nuts. And it has been an insane week, like to say the least. And then to top it all off, I'm supposed to start my lady business next week, which is my first real week at the new joint. So if y'all are out there religious, you believe in Jesus, anything like that, please give me a little amen, hallelujah up to the Lord above because I'm honestly nervous. I'm very hormonal. It's just, it's a rough situation. It's also a rough situation. I've not gotten any orders yet. But I have just arrived to the kind of like shopping center where there's a lot of restaurants and the shopping center where I usually get dinged to a lot. So I'm hoping that this pops off here in like a minute or two because otherwise it's a waste of my damn life. And I honestly should have known better than to pull into the Target parking lot to try to find a spot to park on a Saturday. That was dumb as hell. Dumb as hell! Oh shit, I'll be lucky if I make it out here without getting in a damn car accident. That's real. That's really real. This parking lot is trash! And they got four-way stops and you know, people lose their mind at four-way stops. They literally don't know what the hell to do. There's a Five Guys over there which I usually get dinged for and it's lunchtime. I turned my sound on so I know I'm not gonna miss it. But it's all up in the air. Really. Oh my god! Who walks down the middle of the street? Lord, hurry up! I'm trying to park. Hurry up! What is that outfit, girl? Damn. Still nothing. I know I'm not next to the. I know. I know. I'm not trying to drive to another city for this. Talk about not making any money. Although I'm not making any money right here, right now. Oh yeah, anyway, about my job. I'm just kind of nervous. I'm not nervous, I'm excited, I'm pumped. I'm ready to go, but it's stressful and kind of exhausting and I'm a little nervous about that and just the people there are a little bit more, mm, how do you say, uh, douche baggy? You know what I'm saying? So, this sucks, still nothing. The app looks a little weird though, look. See how it's cut off at the bottom? See, that's another, you know, honest to God, I can't like, the app crashes and messes up so often that it's just so dang fresh. I almost said damn. I can say damn in my channel. It's so damn frustrating. Like, it's stupid. This dash, zero dollars. Yeah, I know. That's probably what's the story. By the time I'm done at 2.30, it's gonna say zero dollars, too. But I'll just sit here and wait for this thing to ding. Okay, still nothing. Come on! Ew, Kenny Chesney. Oh, not Kenny Chesney. Who the hell is this? Keith Urban. Lord, no. Don't ever. Nope, nope, nope. What I'm trying to do here, Bruno, is make some money. It's been 11 minutes, and I'm still broke from last week. <laughs> broke as fuck! <laughs> oh, I almost just saw an accident. Lord, I told you this fucking lot. Even post a DoorDash video where I actually don't even DoorDash is the real fucking question. 
Yes, I do. Because I'm sure a lot of you could relate to me. Maybe it's just my luck. Maybe it's my spot. I really, I don't know. I don't understand. It's lunchtime though. Did I miss something? Have there been some new upgrades? Have there been like, you know, like some, some, I don't even know, some app upgrades, some app changes that I just don't know about. I actually read, somebody commented on my last DoorDash video that I sound like Billy Ellis, and I was like, honestly, that's the third time that I've been told that. And I don't really know if I've ever listened to her just talk before, to be honest with you. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I have. I know for sure I don't look like her. She wilding out. Maybe I should try to dress up. Maybe I should be here for Halloween. Maybe I should be a DoorDasher for Halloween and just sit in my car with a t-shirt. Okay, well, I literally have like an hour left for this, and I know for sure I'm not going to make back what I spent. So, at this point, I'm just trying to make enough for maybe a tank of gas in the near future, you know, like a, like, lunch for today. <laughs> I need a lunch for today. What should I have? Remember when I did that, um, let the person in front of you decide what to eat or whatever the hell? I'll link it right here. That was kind of fun, but in and out had me messed all the way up. Y'all need to watch that and let me know because that had me messed up. Don't be hit by no damn car. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Okay, she's good. She's fine. She left her daughter over there. Why you do that? Uh oh, uh oh. Who's this? What's going on? Her daughter grown ass. Like I'm worried like she left her over there like still nothing. Wow, that's so surprising. <laughs> Don't rely on this shit. Like get you a different source of income. Honest to God. The reason I first started doing DoorDash was because I had not lost my job, but like I quit my source of income for a lot of different reasons. But like, like I was like, well, I have bills to pay. It didn't really start to hit me until my savings kind of started draining, and I was like, uh. So then my friend was like, oh, you should DoorDash. I make like, sometimes I can make like $250, $300 a week, and I'm like, down. And no! Wait, no. You guys, I don't know. Should I take this? It's seven miles for $5, though. But I've been waiting 15 minutes for an order. But by the time I drive seven miles, pick this order up, deliver it, I might get one that's closer for the same amount. This is ballsy, but I'm not doing it. I'm declining that. I'm sorry. Declining it. Distance is too far. I can't. I just, and like I said, I was going to cherry pick and I am not going to drive seven miles for $5. Not happening. I'll go two miles for $5. Not seven. I mean, I got hype. I got excited. Uh, oh God. Help. Can I not get an order from McDonald's or Panera or anything like that? Like, I'm literally sitting here. There's Panera, there's McDonald's, there's Pizza Press, there's Chipotle. Nobody wants that. Y'all want sushi. Y'all want sushi from Sushi on the Lake. I could be doing instead of this right now. I could be laying in the pool with an ice cold Diet Coke, watching some college football on the TV, getting a little sun on this body, getting a little tan, getting a little vitamin D. But here I am waiting to pick up some lazy mother truckers' food for them because they don't want to drive to go get it. If I'm catching some Z's here in a damn parking lot. Uh oh, uh oh. Wingstop, okay. Four miles for $5. You know what, for the sake of this freaking video, to say at least I did one delivery in an hour and a half, I will accept it. This sucks. What the hell? So there I am to the wing stop. Really not a big deal. I could do this. Uh, 15 wings, $15. All right, let's get to the wing stop. There's a stop sign! You God, so annoying. Ah. Thank you, lady, for a little hustle across the street. That really makes it up. Grandma, stay the f there. She just put me in a bad mood, man. Like, what in the hell, man? And what the hell is this one order in freaking 25 minutes? I'm gonna get $5. Hell no, nah, this is why. I Don't do this. Don't do this. Here I am, I was like, oh, it's a cool way to make a couple bucks. It's not even a cool way to make a couple bucks. You don't make a couple bucks. I mean, like, damn, if, if you are so broke, you have to work two hours for $5? You need help. Why does this girl look like Haley Kiyoko? Why are you in the middle of the street? Is that Haley Kiyoko? Y'all, I found a Haley Kiyoko. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Look it. Look it. Is that her? You guys, what's going on? What is going on here? I found Haley Kiyoko. I yelled at a lot of people. Like, what's going on? I'm delivering hot wings five miles away because I want five dollars. That makes a lot of sense. And I promise I'm normally a very nice, bubbly, fun person, but I, there's something about drivers. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. They're just dumb and I can't say Honestly, I think a big deal of it has to do with 
um, Orange County. And the kind of individual that lives here, majority of the kind of individual that lives here, is so ridiculous and so self-entitled and disgusting that I think that really bothers me. I think I hit the nail on the head with that one. All right, you guys, I will be right back with the hot wings, like really fast, like literally like within a snap of the finger, see? You guys, that was like a disaster and a half, let me tell you. Oh, don't worry, I have about, I don't know, five miles to drive, so I have time to tell you. And I had to cross the street, this lady totally ran through the stop sign. I kid you not, nearly hit me. Then I had to go underneath this kind of overgrown tree, got a stick stuck in my hair. You understand? I'm walking around, there's a stick in my head. Okay. Then I get into the wing stop and it's my turn to be like, oh yeah, DoorDash for so and so. She turns around and walks to the back without telling me like, oh, I'll be right back, I gotta check on this, gotta do that, like leaves me there. So then I'm just thinking like, okay, I know where I am. So then I'm just like, uh, and then like her co-workers in the back, they're like, like I know you saw me, I was I was standing behind the person that you were helping, you know what I mean? I say I've accepted the food. And then you know how the directions pop up? Turns out he's in one of my favorite places to deliver, apartments. And by favorite, I mean my least favorite, I despise it. I hate going to apartment complexes. So guess where I'm going? Four miles away apartment. All this for $5, that's what I'm saying you guys. This is trash. This gum hard as shit. <laughs> I can't lie though, those wings smell really good. Woo, yeah, they got atomic, yo. Like, are you for real? Are you ready for all that? Like, do you know how bad your butthole's gonna burn? <laughs> like, for real, like, I have jalapenos on my pizza and I'm out for at least a day. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this might be the worst DoorDash video in the history of DoorDash videos. I should have titled it like, I worked DoorDash for eight hours and made five dollars. Am sir, I don't know, it don't matter, it's 2019. You, you about to get hit. This is what I'm talking about. This is that shit I don't like. In apartment complexes, have no idea where anything is. It's lit up to slide after arrival, so I'm somewhere. Wish me luck and I will be right back. That was the worst. It is 90 degrees outside, okay? And in the app it says he's building 14, cool. I park where the thing says the thing is. I start walking, I'm like, why am I building one? So then I'm like, what the hell, okay? So then I walking around these buildings and in the distance I see building 14. I'm like, screw that, I'm gonna get my car. I'll drive over there. So I drive over there, I find building, okay, so then I text them, I'm like, hey, sorry, had a hard time finding this, like, just parked, be there in a second, which units are you in building 14? He said, yes, building 14. Obviously, I know that. I was just like, okay, okay, so I'm like searching, searching, and then like, it said 160 or whatever, and I was like, okay, found it. 160, I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna be downstairs. No, no, I'm climbing stairs, okay, I'm climbing stairs. I knock on the door, guess who opens? Obviously the individual who has ordered this food, but guess who that is? I had worked with this guy at one of my old jobs in San Clemente. Now I have literal animals crawling on my phone because I had to go through some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, can you see that individual? Can you see it crawling right there? Anyway, um, so that's why I cannot stay in apartments and it has officially been an hour and I have not really done much except for made five dollars and seventy cents so i'm putting a sad face on the review for this one obviously parking drop off sliding after it's delivered for my money oh i actually got oh i'm sorry it wasn't five dollars and seventy cents it's five dollars and fifty cents twelve miles look at twelve miles is this a joke i'm not doing that either you got me messed all the way up. I was trying to exit. Wow, total earnings, look at that. 1.3 hours, $5.50. You know what, let's have a round of applause for DoorDash. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. I am so out of here. I am, I just, I, I've said what I had to say about DoorDash, and if you make a good, decent amount of money on it and it pays your bills, I meant nothing bad by it. It's just here for me. I don't know what I do wrong, but things are whack. 
and it just doesn't work but if it works for you don't fix it if it ain't broken just keep grinding out there you know do your own thing do what you gotta do to be happy pay your bills no harm no foul no disrespect to anybody I love y'all if you made it to the end of the video you are the real MVP you know I love you Go ahead, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it to somebody, I don't know, leave a comment, tell me I'm stupid, you hate me, whatever, I'm rude. Just let me know what you thought, you guys, and as always, enjoy the journey, whatever your journey is, and always remember to do what sets your hearts on fire, and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.